Hey guys, Youth Pastor Albert here, and uh, your looks are not deceiving you. I've just uh, shaved my head. I usually like to keep it down to a one, but uh, did things a little bit different, getting a little bit longer hair. Um, but uh, yep, your looks still looking at the same guy. I um, wanted to get my hair nice and short, um, so I wanted to do sweaty and uh, jujitsu competitions and you know things of that nature. All right, so I want to give you guys a little bit of a devotion here tonight for our 300. So thank you guys for joining me for tonight's 300. And today we're going to be talking about the battlefield in our mind. We're going to be talking about how the devil likes to take control of people by messing with their mind and getting in their mind and causing havoc in their life. And I'm going to talk about where God tells us in the Bible different tactics we can use to defeat the devil. I know the Bible also talks about that we shouldn't be unaware of the enemy's tactics or the enemy's schemes. Or you could even say his strategies. So you'll learn throughout your life that there are different areas where the enemy will try to attack you mentally. And when you learn to use God's word against him, you can learn to defeat him. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. So greater is Jesus that's in you than the devil that's in this world. All right, so verse 3 of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 5 says, For though we live in the body, we do not wage war in an unspiritual way. Since the weapons of our warfare are not worldly, but are powerful through God for the demolition of strongholds. So that word strongholds, the enemy can use a stronghold. It's like a binding power the enemy can use on a person where the enemy has control of somebody's mind. And God's saying here that God's power is used for the demolition, for the destruction, for the devouring, the complete obliteration of strongholds. So we can devour all those strongholds. We demolish arguments in every high-minded thing that raises up that is raised up against the knowledge of God, taking every thought captive to obey Christ or to the obedience of Christ. So God tells us here that we have the power through his son Jesus that we should take every thought captive. So we take every thought that we have. We all have a lot of thoughts that go through our mind, but we take every thought captive. And we take it captive under the obedience of Christ. And you say, no, no, devil, when I get a bad thought in my head, you say, no, devil, that is not what God's word says. That is not what God says about me. I take every thought captive. The Bible talks about that I have the mind of Christ, that he will give me the peace of God that will guard my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. And I'm going to give you guys another video here coming up soon about different uh, tactics that you might face um, having mental battles in your mind and ways that you can defeat those specific things. So be on the lookout. I'll be teaching more about this in Sunday school tomorrow morning as well. So, all right, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.